What happens if you take a baby shark and you put it in a fish tank? Do you think that the baby shark will outgrow the fish tank? Well, the answer is no, it will not. It will not grow bigger than its environment. But if you take a baby shark and you put it in the ocean in its natural environment, they can grow up to 2.5 meters, which is gigantic. <laughs> but what happens if you take a person and you put a person in a narrow, limited environment? What if a person's mindset and beliefs about themselves are not bigger than a fish tank? Can they outgrow their fish tank? And what happens if you expand their fish tank? What would happen to their lives? Well, you see, there was a team of psychologists from the Harvard University who had very similar questions. They wanted to know, look, if we change a person's mindset, if we change a person's inner environment, the way they think, the way they see themselves, what would happen? How much would they change and how far could we take that change? So they decided to create an experiment and they, take, they took eight gentlemen between the age of 70 and 80 years old. And they drove them in a monastery for five days. And the goal was very simple. For the next five days, all, the, all you have to do, they told them all you have to do is to pretend that you are 20 years younger. That's all we want you to do. Pretend that you're 20 years younger. Now, to help them immerse and pretend better that they're younger, they tweaked the environment at the monastery a little bit. They changed the TV set, the radio, the newspaper, they changed a little bit how things look in order to reflect how life looked like 20 years before that. And of course, they did a whole set of tests before and after the five days in order to be able to measure what happens, what changed, if anything changed. Now, after five days of pretending that they were 20 years younger, what do you think happened to those guys? Well, the results were off the freaking chart. After five days, those gentlemen were psychologically younger, but also mentally, emotionally, and physically younger. All the results improved. Their cognitive abilities on the test improved by 44%. Their eyesight, their earrings improved, their grip strength improved, their posture and their weight improved. The blood test was better. They didn't need to wake up in the middle of the night to go to the toilet anymore. Well, it's pretty amazing. In only five days, their body completely changed, and let alone how amazing this feels. Dr. Langer, which was the head of the research team, she said, after five days, I was playing football with those gentlemen, many of which on day one came with a walking stick. Can you believe that? The transformation that those people had after pretending that they were younger for five days. So what happened? What happened to those gentlemen? Is it a miracle? Is it luck? Is it some kind of God's work? Well, what, what happened is that they changed the way they were relating to themselves. Their assumptions and their beliefs about themselves changed. And their body responded. In medicine, this is often called and referred to as the placebo effect. But what is really happening? I mean, could we, you and me, do the same things in our life? Could we use and create a placebo that is empowering us? in our own lives? Well, the answer to this question is, of course, yes, we can. We all have a wonderful human imagination that allows us to imagine bigger, to think greater, to create ourselves anew. Just like those gentlemen imagined, truly pretended that they were 20 years younger. They didn't just wishfully thinking, oh, I am 20 years younger, but they played out and the body responded. So if we have this ability, then why is it that we don't use it? Well, the challenge is that we are too used to our fish tank. We all have a fish tank, but we're so accustomed to having that fish tank. It's comfortable in our fish tank. We know what it's like. We know our self-image, our identity, our personality, all those things that we take as fact. It's who we are, and we argue for who we are. And so we struggle to expand beyond what we think is possible, beyond what we think is believable for us. And that's why we always remain in the same kind of scope 
only growing to a certain extent, if at all. So what is necessary for us to grow outside of the box that we put ourselves in? Well, what we need is to create a new version of ourselves. The life that we have is mostly the result of our deepest assumptions and beliefs about ourselves. And as long as we don't change the way we see ourselves and the way we see other people in our life, what could change? Because we forget that we are where we are today in life because of who we are. And in order to get someplace else, we need to become a different person. We need to come from a different level of consciousness, a different level of mind. And we need to drop that fish tank. We need to expand it beyond what we think is possible right now. The challenge is that we wait. We wait for things to change. It's when my business is successful, when my YouTube channel hits a million people, when my wife, when I have a wife, or when my parents are proud of me, or when whatever X, Y, Z happen, then I'll feel like I'm a successful person, or I'll feel love, or I'll feel that, or then I'll believe that I can. So we're waiting for evidences to be able to see and touch things before we believe and before we tell ourselves it's okay. I, I, I am that person. Unfortunately, Results follow a state of consciousness that do not proceed. And what do you think would have happened to those eight gentlemen if they were to the research team and they said, hey, you guys are crazy. <laughs> I am 80. Why do you want me to pretend that I'm 60? <laughs> what do you think would have happened if they refused to pretend, to refuse to go to the end, to refuse to become younger? Nothing would have happened. So we need to let go of the stories we have right now in our mind. Let go of the labels we've put ourselves. Let go of all those things that we live by, that we know ourselves by, and reinvent ourselves. Ask yourself, what do I want and who do I need to become in order to achieve that and make that happen? And then we need to start becoming that person. And one way to do that is to go in your, your amazing imagination. And to start to imagine, to start to play, to start to pretend, and to start to create and act as that person. And then the result will follow. And that assumption will harden into fact. What do you think happened to those eight gentlemen at the end of the study, one week after the study? Seven of them, in less than one week, lost all their gains. They reverted to their old self. And their body reverted exactly to their old self. All but one. One was persistent. One was like, I like this. This is great. This feels great. I want more. And so it continued in that mindset. It continued to expand this fish tank and to see himself as younger and getting better. And month down the line, not only he kept his gain, but he improved on them. Because he continued to persist that I'm going to create what I believe and not what I see right now, or what I feel right now. And this is a new level of self-mastery, when you can go to the end and become a creator of your own personal reality by choosing the kind of person you are, instead of just letting life decide that for you. We are all responsible for our fish tank. So go ahead, have a look in your own life. Where can you think greater of yourself? Where can you imagine yourself greater? And start to pretend and start to become that person. Adopt the attitude, the actions, the thoughts of that person and see what happens. I'll see you in the next video, guys.